disrespect like that. And uh, I mean, you I'm know, just, as a as a few of the viewers seen, we know the situation that they showed on the right on, on the uh, you know the BET demo. So right, kind of, kind of throw a little bit of light on that situation. What happened on that? People well, like well, might not well, like that that little that little situation, man. It was like. These this nigga, you know, he, you know, he had some brothers like these niggas. They from Grandview, man. They they moved to the projects when I was like sixteen or something, man. They moved down there. I think they mama had died or some crazy ass shit. But like, they were some young niggas, man. So like, hood niggas, they don't really embrace niggas like that. But they embraced them little niggas. They was little niggas, kind of turned them niggas out. Was they getting money? Yeah, they turned them niggas out to where they was some hustling ass niggas. So you know, they they claiming 12th Street. You know, they 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 was cool. They was all right, man. You know, like Dre actually was a nigga I used to grit with and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the situation kind of got out of hand, man. It just started with like me and his brother got into it over a fucking go-kart or something. Some stupid ass go-kart, like that the security used to ride around uh in in parade parking June tank mm-hmm. and shit. You know how they be having them dumb ass go-karts. We went down there after the, type shit. Right. That's what it was. We went down there after the June tank and we riding them motherfuckers. And I wanna say the nigga got mad or something. I wouldn't let the nigga ride the go-kart or some stupid ass shit, man. Nigga straight stole on me or something. Crack me. He I'm chasing this nigga through the hood with a with a pistol. Like how old was you at the time? Shit, I wanna say I probably was like 17, 18 or something, somewhere up he? in there. Uh, that little nigga, he probably like a couple years younger than me, mm-hmm. a year or two younger than me. But he I, was I ain't feeling himself. Yeah, he was feeling himself, man. Did you, you know? already have you already had a name then, like to where most, you know they knew they should have tested you or what? Nah, just just in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't really. So uh, little nigga ain't know what he just felt like. Fuck all that. Yeah, he just was on some bullshit. But these niggas, they like, knew I had guns, like, but. I don't think my name was really solidified. It was kind of like niggas are still test me type shit. And I tried y'all in the hood I, anyway, so it ain't like it might not even be no yeah. So he's right. feeling like I'ma just still on yeah. Test yeah, he me. straight, he straight cack me, man. You know, like a lot of the hood niggas, like they was kind of mad, like damn, nigga, you hit a girl type shit. So I'm like, I'm finna pop this nigga, like, and I probably would have caught a case there, but I want to say the, the gun I had, the motherfucker was like fucked up or something. So now he's a 25 still. Nah, that motherfucker. <laughs> nah, was a, it was a, <laughs> it was like a, it was a thirty-two, cause like a, a thirty-two oh, them, them revolver. Or something. I, I got a story about a thirty-two. Right, I'm right. Tell people later, them motherfuckers. Right, man. Uh, uh, them. The nigga didn't trust me after that though. The nigga used to always feel like that I was gonna get him and shit, but I wasn't really on nothing, man. And uh, I want to say like down the line, like you know, some little shit had cracked off uh, to where them niggas felt like. That they wanted some problems and shit to where I wasn't tripping, man. You know, uh, but I ended up seeing seeing his brother at the gas station one day. Uh, and this the day I caught my case. Like I pull up to the gas station and shit. I see the little nigga, he parked in front of the gas station, like he parked like where you can just hop out, run in the door, come back out and shit. So I see him, he don't even see me. I get out the car. I could have got out and just got the nigga if I wanted the nigga, but I wasn't tripping off the nigga. I was actually saying to myself, like, oh, that's Dre, bitch ass. He ain't no threat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to go in the gas station, man. Like, little nigga seen me act like he seen a ghost. Nigga started coming at me with the car, man. He got his baby mom in the car. He got his four-year-old son in the car. And as he coming at me, I'm like, damn, is this nigga trying to run? This nigga trying to run over me. I, I jump out the way. Nigga turn the wheel, try to come at me. I'm like... All right, I ain't, I'm not running for nobody, cuz. I ain't running for nothing but the police. So I pulled my pistol, start dumping at the nigga and shit. Situation occurred. You know, I, I could have killed everybody in the car if I wanted to. Mm-hmm. If I, you know, if I was cold as they say I was, but I popped them on up, ran back to my car and left. I actually, shit, the nigga actually was still moving when I left. So shit, I thought the nigga was still alive till I seen the news, man, and Went from there, I just went on a run. I just always say shit, and it killed itself, cuz.